Welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Thomas from TMWIT. Back again in the home garage. We have got my friend B-Pack here. What Seen up, him before guys? on the channel with the uh, Galaxy headliner. Still looking so far. Oh my gosh, dude, it just popped on the camera. But we're doing some more mods too. B-Pack's crazy Panda V3 FRS. We need to do a full build overview on this car soon and cover everything you've done. But today we are doing some new mirrors. These are some carbon kind of, what do you even call these? Like GT F1 style? Yeah, GT F1. They're kind of like the APR mirrors, you know, APR, the big racing brand. They make some like this, but they just go right there and they're a smaller, sleeker look and I think they look really cool. And they have the carbon skin as well. And he's already got the carbon mirror caps now because he's carboned out, Dude. out the wazoo. But these Can are gonna I look super cars, sick. Dude. Definitely like a very cool look. And it looks like the lenses are polarized as well, or the glass, um, the blue. Do so not get the fake carbon on there. Yeah, no fake carbon. No fake carbon here. No, 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 I'm talking about the handles. Oh. Well, I'm gonna get <laughs> it. Oh my it gosh. Sheesh! Yeah, so Damn! We got these for free because we canceled an order and they were still shipping from Japan because I wanted to get an idea on what they looked like and they uh -huh. were 15 bucks. But the real ones are like 150, 200 bucks. Jeez. And so I don't know if it's worth the price. So real carbon? So... Yeah, so these are just test, kind of yeah, seeing if you yeah, want to spend the money. Yeah, they're gonna come right back off. I mean, these things are super cheap. I mean, like, like to a uh, normal Joe, they look carbon fiber, but to a car enthusiast, they, they'd be laughing. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's just fake, janky. But yeah, these are real carbon and they're very sick. So. Pack says it's super easy install. He's, he Castle told me C. 30 <laughs> minutes total, so I'm gonna hold him to that. Yeah. We're just gonna toss on these. Who, who makes these? Um, Craft Square. So Craft Square, uh, I guess just GT F1 style mirrors and for the- Universal. Universal. Yeah, so oh. they're universal fit. I just chose that they would yeah. make a good fit on this car. Sick, yeah. They're gonna be a whole lot smaller. I'm pretty sure it has something to do with like aerodynamics or some, sh but you know, Pax is kind of doing it for the look. Oh yeah, cause this car is so fast. So hey, fast. what's up, Fox? Hey. What's up, dude? Comes, comes out from his sleeping chamber. <laughs> He's lurking. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we'll just dive right into it, guys. And, uh, oh, what's up? We'll just uh, get these uh, mirrors tossed on. Let's do it. All right, so we folded in the mirror over here. What are we doing? So we're just gonna take like a little flat head or if you have like a trim removal piece, you can use that. And then we're just gonna slightly pry this out. Just like that. Slightly pry it slightly out. Slightly pry it <laughs> out. You an ejecto seat. Oh, I yeah, that. quote me on that one. <laughs> so you'll see right in the door handle, there's another one of those um, kind of little indents that you can fit removal piece. Oh, it's like a little secret door. Yeah, a little secret hidden door nice. for a Phillips. And then we'll also be taking off this bolt right here. That's another secret door. So we're gonna be popping off the whole door card? Yeah, the oh, whole okay. door card's cool. gonna be coming off. Another so just thing- Just pry around all the edges and then unbolt it? Yep, and there's gonna be clips, about eight or nine clips falling all the way around the baseline. I'm just gonna wanna gonna pop those out and obviously put pressure on you know, where the bolts are closest so that you're not gonna rip any of them out and leave them in the door saw, or leave them in the actual door frame. And so, yeah, just start coming around the edge and you can see here. Just pop, pop just all like those that. clips out. Yeah. All right, Pat just ripped off the door card. Just a couple of clips and screws around here and there, and then he's just gonna unplug those two harnesses. So we got the, uh, <laughs> the door card held up, nice. Just put it on a stool. All right, just set pack up with the uh, 10 millimeter. We're gonna remove these two bolts right below this little triangle piece here. Two clips, it looks like. 30 minutes tops, right? 30 minutes tops. Well. What was that? Something's stuck in there. I don't know if that was necessarily the right bolt. Hopefully that wasn't your window. window. <laughs> ah, we'll see what we did. All right, after Pac did some uh, sleuthing, he cut a, cut away this uh, I don't know, sound deadening, I guess, and it revealed the 12 millimeter that we were looking for right there. Um, but we also need to figure out uh, what dropped inside of his door so that his door doesn't explode or anything. That would suck. So there's just the two 10 mils up top. 
cut away your sound detonating right there, and uh, you'll find the last 12 right there where Pac's hands are. See if you can pull it. There we go. All right. Yep. So I just pulled it up from the top. Again, be very careful. This is glass. Is it connected to something? That's oh, gonna be a get back in. Oh yes, it will be. That's for sure. 30 minute install, right? 30 minute install. All right, okay. <laughs> All right, we're just undoing the uh, 10 mils out on the outside here. Ooh, look at that, Galaxy Headliner. Oh, yeah. Is there a cord in here that I need to unplug? Okay, so looking in this mess of plugs back here, guys. Sorry, I'm doing the best I can. I think it's this guy right here. Okay, I have no idea if you guys saw that, but I just popped this clip plug right here. I'm just gonna thread it up through here. It looks like there's a few, nope. There's just a little bracket right here that I'm gonna pull it out of. And I'm gonna snake it through to pack and up. And it should just thread right out. Oh. Just right, like keep that. that nice. We don't wanna, you know, just in case you wanna return your car to stock, pack's probably not. Keep him just in case, or sell him to another FRS boy because he's got all that fancy carbon on there. And we're actually gonna reuse this. Uh... The gasket? Yeah. Nice. All right, so salvaging this little gasket here, uh, we just made a nice little cut here so there's no water getting in your door and stuff because that would not be fun. So reuse the gasket and it should just go right onto the mirror, right? Yep. Ooh, we may actually need to go get some hardware. 30 minute install, right? 30 minute install. Okay, this is the hardware we ended up using. Just some uh, hex kind of cap screws. Um, they're skinny enough to fit in there. We were kind of playing with hardware choices. Decided against these ones. Um, and these just drop right in there. You're gonna kind of need a longer hardware. Just make sure that it clears right there. Yeah, but these look really nice. Uh, but you can kind of play around with hardware so you could do this overlook match the silver ball head in there and kind of do whatever you want so yeah these are m6 i think these are just uh one inch um and this is what we're going to be using for the hardware and pack is already bolting it up over here nice looking good we'll get the side all snugged up and we'll figure out uh this situation in here on the door let you guys know how difficult that is to put back together this mirror install is not so going too terrible 30 minutes tops. 30 minutes tops, right? 30 minutes yeah. tops. It's because you jinxed it, though. So get this, uh, get this all snugged up, and then we'll continue on. All right, we got this one uh, pretty much mounted up. We just need to do that door card on the inside, but just checking out how it looks. Ooh, it's freaking sick. I love the look. It's very different. Kind of a, I guess, a motorsports vibe to it. I think it looks sick with the wide body kit. Yeah, very cool mirrors. Hell yeah. And not too bad of an install. We just gotta figure out what pack messed up in his door. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Who knows? Fun. But yeah, point. it's pretty cool. Guys, and that is the mirrors all installed. Looking so sick. Uh, putting the doors back together wasn't too difficult. Just took a little finagling with this little glass piece, but we figured out on that side you didn't have to remove it. So yeah, these turned out sick. Pack likes the look. That's what's most important. I think they look very, very cool on the FRS build, especially with all the aero and everything that he has. Now we just need to get it fast. Yeah, how, how much horsepower does that add? It's like at least a thousand. It's yeah, got to add an LS swap. Carbon's got to add or take off at least like 20 200 pounds. pounds. Yeah. Oh yeah, 200. Maybe. So 400 pounds weight savings. Yeah. And then these only weigh like 1.2 grams, so. Yeah. That we cut probably this is all false guys these are light so you probably are getting a weight savings but the frs is still slow so unfortunately they are just for the aesthetics here they One probably day. reduce drag and you probably got like 0.5 horsepower dude ask uh, ask all the followers what type of what type of swap would be interesting to run two jz's are almost too expensive nowadays i uh, know it'd be so boring tags. here but ls swap rb26 swap or two J swap. Five would be cool. Too. RB25. Yeah, you can find those for cheap, and you can get those right around five six hundred, which is what it, I mean, 
that'd be perfect for this car if you were to ask me able to really get those tires spinning out oh yeah for sure i mean anything over like eight nine hundred you're not going to be able to use at all <laughs> so right. yeah, so for now we can just dream craft square f1 style carbon fiber side say it again Bro, <laughs> See, <it's a> <laughs> cameras in your face. Damn, craft goes, square what? F1 style carbon fiber side view mirrors. They're sick carbon fiber side mirrors for the FRS in carbon fiber. Looks so sick. Here's the cinematic of how they look with the rest of the build. Pax build goes so hard. There's so much stuff done to it. I, it would take, when I drop the build overview on your car, it's gonna have to be like an hour almost, long. Bro. Hour we're, long, because there's gonna there. be so much stuff. But give me your thoughts on the new mirrors you got. Dude, looks wise, killer. They're absolutely so good looking. Bro, yeah, bro, when it comes to visibility. Function negative. Dog, you can't see anything out hey. the back. But you don't need to see what's behind you. Exactly. In this car? Everything's no way. You lose every time, no so you're good. Exactly. <laughs> but they look super sick. They match all the other carbon on the car. They look very cool. They are polarized, which is pretty dope, even though you can't see out of them. Yeah. But they're adjustable, very yeah. sick. You just, you, they're so hard to see out of. So, I mean, if, you know, yeah, like track car, I guess, I don't know, reduces aerodynamics. They just look sick, all right? Okay, this is a little bit ricey of a mod, but come on, they look freaking dope. They look so sick. Very cool. Yeah, love how these mirrors turned out on B-Packs FRS. Just, oh my gosh. Every time I see this build, is there's so much stuff done to it. It's crazy. There'll be a link down in the description below to these mirrors if you want to do this to your FRS, but they're pretty universal. You can kind of just do them to any car if you wanted to. Do Jordan's car if you wanted to. <laughs> but yeah, I think they look really, really good on the FRS. I'm not sure about other cars, uh, but coupes like this, I think they look really, really good. So they turned out awesome. Pax happy with them besides not being able to see sh out of them, but that's all right good. for the look, bro. <laughs> it looks sick, parked, Stands right? Well, baby. <laughs> yeah, it looks turned out so sick. It out. If you guys like it, leave a like down below, comment what you think. If it ain't rice, is it from Utah? If it ain't rice, it ain't nice. No, sheesh. All right, that's gonna do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.